Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with value tuples. Our viewer asks, is there a saner way to convert a value tuple to an I enumerable? To set the stage, let's consider the current approach. Developers often find themselves writing multiple methods to convert value tuples of different sizes into an I enumerable. This can lead to repetitive code and maintenance challenges. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To convert a value tuple to an I enumerable, we can create extension methods. Let's start by defining a static class called value tuple additions. Next, we will implement the first extension method. This method will take a value tuple with two items and yield return each item as an object. Now, let's extend our functionality to handle value tuples with three items. We will create another method that yields all three items. With these methods in place, we can now easily convert value tuples to arrays. This is particularly useful in scenarios like unit testing. Finally, we can call our new extension methods in our test data generation, making our code cleaner and more maintainable. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To convert a value tuple to I enumerable, you can use the iTuple interface. This interface provides a way to access the elements of a tuple. Keep in mind that the iTuple interface is only available in .NET Core 2.0, Mono 5.0, and the upcoming version of .NET Framework. This API is primarily designed for use by the C-Sharp compiler for future pattern work. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To convert a value tuple to an I enumerable, you can use reflection. First, define your tuple and call a method to convert it. In the toEnumerable method, check if the tuple implements iTuple internal. If it does, iterate through its fields that start with item and yield their values. If the input is not a tuple, throw an exception. This ensures that only valid tuples are processed. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To convert a value tuple to an I enumerable, you can use an extension method based on iTuple. This method allows you to iterate through the tuple and yield each item. Here's a sample usage of the extension method. You can define directions as a tuple and then iterate through it using the toEnumerable method.
And that's it, guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.